Good morning, everyone. Today's Gospel from St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I am going away and I will come back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel is a familiar line, Jesus offering us his peace, and there's two distinctions. Number one, his peace, as opposed to the world's peace, and then number two, how that peace is delivered. He says, I give you peace not as the world does. The peace of the world is always finite. It never endures. It's always temporal. Jesus' peace is always eternal. That's the distinction between the peace of the world and the peace of God. The peace on this earth is temporary. The distinction between how it's delivered, well, we receive peace in this world to the extent that we're in power, we're in control, that we are consumers of things. But the peace, the way that Jesus gives, is very different. It's not about control. It's about freedom. It's not about having, but about receiving. It's about giving self. The self-gift. Today, as we continue to yearn for peace, let us be attentive to those two different types of peace, the world's and the Lord's, and how they are both delivered. Let us pray for the Lord's peace, and let us receive it well. God be with you.